here with my Hollands 2 and materialize the room. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Anand. Hey, everyone. It's great to be here on stage holographically. It's great to have you here, Jenna. Can you tell everybody a little bit about what you're seeing? Sure. I can see your lifelike avatar, which we generate in seconds from a 2D photo, and we can walk around the stage with spatial audio and use this whole space around us to collaborate as if we're all here together in the same room. Cool. Now, to show you how companies are using spatial to transform the way they work, let's invite Sven Gurgitz, CTO of the iconic toy brand Mattel, onto the stage. Hey, guys. How awesome is this? So at Mattel, we're undergoing a massive digital transformation. It's touching all aspects of our business. This includes the way that we're using technology to design and to develop our products. Our classic brands like Barbie and Hot Wheels and Fisher-Price, they have diverse teams of designers, engineers, marketers, and manufacturers that are spread all over the world. They can now come together in a spatial project room, reducing the need to travel as, as much to get everybody on the same page. When we're developing toys like this Rescue Hero Fires truck here, we're able to pin up dynamic content on virtual walls, like this PowerPoint, for instance, or videos, or even concept art. Teams can now rapidly exchange ideas and create a shared understanding Oh yeah, I can see that's going to be a problem. So I can pull out my spatial phone app and write a quick note, and then just hit send, and it becomes a digital sticky note, which I can just grab and stick right onto the fire truck so that we can have engineering revise this later. We can also use spatial much earlier in our design process to ideate and generate inspiration. Okay, guys, let's come up with uh, some ideas for a line of aquatic toys. Yeah. How about sea turtles? Oh, that's really cool. Let's try sharks. That's cool. How about jellyfish? So all we have to do is say the words, and they're instantly visualized right before our eyes. You can even click into one of these bundles, and they expand it to a full-blown internet search, complete with 3D models, images, and web pages. You know, why don't we click into just the images here so we can get some good inspiration for this uh, new aquatic line? Mm -hmm. Sure. Every object you see in spatial is physical and tactile, so you can scroll through or pick up images you like and toss them up on the wall with physics. And we don't have to just stick with digital content. I can actually pull up these sketches I did on my phone last night using that same spatial app. I just pull up those photos and hit send. And they're instantly transformed into this digital environment. Nice drawings. It's so easy to fill up your room with ideas. So we built this tool to help you quickly organize all these ideas. So let me select all of these. And let's make a grid. This goes to the wall. Now, this entire room we've created is a persistent digital object that anyone can access or contribute to at any time, whether they're using an AR or VR headset or even a PC or mobile phone. So that's right. Now we can have virtually rich visual rooms that we can keep up uh, for the life of the product. That means no more tearing down war rooms uh, all the time. So Spatial and HoloLens are helping us drive improvements in our digital design and development process, changing the way we create new toys. By bringing people together from all over the world to collaborate in the same virtual room, we're overcoming a natural barrier to our collective success. That's people's desire for direct face-to-face -face interaction when building commitment and trust. We're so excited to see faster time to market and reduced need to travel, as well as the many other benefits that we're going to unleash at Mattel as we collaborate in mixed reality. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Thank you so much, Thank you, Alex.